How many times a year do you have to explain what you're doing for a living? I work in the pharmaceutical industry myself, in the API market to be precise, and I really like my job and working in this sector, but it isn't always easy to explain in a minute what I actually do and what the role of the API market is in the medicine that people take. This video is for everyone who wants to know in a couple of minutes what an API is and how everyone in this industry makes sure that your medicine is safe. So here we go. My name is Amar and I'm the CEO of PharmOver. It's a platform similar to Airbnb, but actually for businesses in the pharmaceutical industry. Probably the first thing that come to your mind when talking about the pharmaceutical industry are companies that produce medicines. All over the globe there are lots of companies that make medicines. From large companies such as Novartis, Pfizer and Johnson & Johnson to local pharmacies which are in some cases able to make medicines on patient level. And of course everything in between. These medicine producers work closely with other companies in the supply chain such as packaging, research and API companies. Let's focus on the last one. Just the API market alone is already a huge multi-billion dollar market. But what are APIs? People take medicines to cure, diagnose, treat or prevent a disease. Most medication contains a couple of ingredients. The most important one is the API, which stands for Active Pharmaceutical Ingredient. This is the actual substance in the medicine that has to do the work in your body. For example, the API in aspirin is acetyl salicylic acid. This API will try to fight the pain of your fever or headache. Some medicines carry the name of the API. For instance, the API of paracetamol is paracetamol. To make a pill, you'll need more ingredients than just the API. That's where excipients come in. These ingredients are used to give the pill, for example, volume, a sweet flavor or color. How and where are APIs made? APIs are mainly produced in large production plants. It's a complex chemical process of several steps. It's made from starting materials, which can be a raw material or an intermediate. Back in the days, pharma companies made and formulated the API in medicine in their home countries. Over the past few decades, many companies have outsourced their API manufacturing process to Asia to cut costs. Today, India and China are the largest API producing countries. But since most starting materials are made in China, we can call China the API pharmacy of the world. How can you be sure that an API is safe? Medication is of course intended to help people. So we need to know the ingredients such as the API are safe to use. To make sure of that, the pharmaceutical market is one of the most strict regulated markets there is. Companies in the entire API supply chain get inspected by their local government. They could also be inspected by foreign government instances and third-party companies do audits at each other's company. When everything is up to code, companies are given a certain certificate, such as a GMP or a written confirmation, so other professionals in the industry know that that company complies with the industry standards, without them having to inspect it or audit it themselves. When the inspection fails, the company will be issued a warning, and pharmaceutical buyers won't be able to buy there until the issues are resolved and the company is re-inspected. Not only the factory or production facility is inspected, every batch of produced API is also analyzed by laboratories. Depending on the situation, it's even possible that one specific batch is analyzed multiple times. For example, by the company that produced it, by a third party laboratory, by the trader who buys it, and by the hospital that will use it. Also, every pharmaceutical company has an entire team dedicated to quality assurance and quality control. This team can consist out of pharmacists, chemists, biologists, and other personnel that is trained to be a qualified person. You could say that the first team, quality assurance, makes sure everything is fine before the production process even starts, whilst the quality control checks if everything was performed according to plan. So coming back to the beginning of this video, what am I doing in this market? I've been working in the API market for over 10 years. In my first year, I worked in the production area of a Dutch API supplier to repack APIs from large into small quantities. Then I moved to the sales followed by the marketing department. In these years, I've learned that many medicine makers were struggling to find qualified suppliers. Traditionally, they are dependent on traders who make the API expensive and communication slow. 
In 2016, I started Pharma Offer together with my co-founders Bart Rompman and Martin Tevis. We wanted to provide the entire market with a platform similar to Amazon or Booking.com. Buying API and everything that comes with it obviously isn't the same as booking a hotel, but we've still managed to build a platform dedicated to this market. I hope this video gave you some insights on the API market. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and perhaps we will make a video about it. Do you want to follow our journey or want to see more videos like this? Follow us on LinkedIn or YouTube. Adios.